Oh yeah, guys, this is a null. And we are playing to the Warhammer. And so I just learned the hard way that uh, Iron Man mode uh, in the legendary difficulty doesn't work the same way it does in uh, uh, Paradox games. And apparently you need to end the turn for your progress to be saved. Uh, so I need to redo my last turn from yesterday. Oh well, uh, and there isn't an option to manually save either, which which is weird. Mm. So let's let's do this again. I, I think I will do some changes too. Uh, first of all, let's move there. Get our vampire away. Uh, ah, we have that necromancer here. And uh, if you remember correctly, uh, our plan was to build uh, more bale fires in this province. So we'll get rid of those barracks, or borough, I guess. Cemetery is the uh, group name for the uh, for those buildings. Uh, but that's uh, next turn. As far as this, we could uh, possibly uh, put our necromancer right here and uh, just build those sets of buildings. Uh, True about those. Uh, should probably limit it to, uh, I'd say, well, it's not like we needed another G-Bet. Uh, well, not G-Bet, I mean, another Boneyard kind of thing here. I think we will be good. It's only two province. Uh, um, two region province, so it will grow fairly quickly anyway. So uh, actually, it is pretty safe here. So I think we'll uh, we'll indeed put one uh, one charnel pit. It's pretty cheap for twenty growth. Mm. And besides that, I think we. Uh, uh, well, we definitely want to do this, but I'm not sure if I want to keep investing in that for 50. Probably not, but uh, I don't think I want to uh, demolish it uh, just yet either. Hmm. How about this province? I, I totally uh, gone over it already, haven't I? Yeah, I think this one is, is more important. So let's, uh, since uh, it's... Uh, connected to this one, and uh, this one affects uh, all adjacent provinces. So we will deploy our, our us right here. Uh, we have a population sub of uh, two, so let's uh, just use it up, and then we'll just have to wait for five here. Mm. So this is going to be a regression building. This will get fixed on its own. And here we can't really afford anything, maybe next turn. But uh, as I mentioned, our plants here are mentioned Amori, uh, Balefire Heart. Well, I guess we do have the Heart. Uh, Dark Lair, uh, Vampire Crypts, and Forbidden Library. That's, that's what we have. Mm. We also kind of want to uh, expand north uh, to some extent, because uh, one of Kislev provinces has iron, and iron would allow us to uh, recruit cheaper and more experienced infantry uh, troops. Uh, very much the same way uh, Dark Lair uh, helps us with the, uh, with, with the forest ones. All right, uh, what else? Uh, well, all right. I think we decided that this is pointless. We want to move back here. Oh, look at that, so this rise there like, actually works here, as you can see. Uh, we have that Grand Battle Marker. Uh, well, it's just Battle Marker. Uh, I think this is the only one we have, uh, which is odd because the, there are some serious battles here and there. But, well, I guess only that, uh, that, that first one counted, and, and we can rise there, there's 
you raise that to get some uh, units that are not available to us just yet. Uh, such as uh, Graveguard with a uh, Great Hukun, Black, uh, Black Knights with Lances, uh, Crypt Horrors and whatnot, and Karen Race. I'm not going to do that because, well, we can't afford it. Or well, we kind of can, but I think we need to... I want to, to just max out this province ASAP. And that will be pretty healthy. Uh, that being said, I really do want to uh, start leveling our heroes ASAP. Okay, what do they want? We have that no, no aggression pack. I have no idea, to be honest. Well, I guess we are uh, uh, theoretically a part of the Empire. Are they going to settle this? Still on this gun. Alright, so Chaos is uh, slowly showing up. Took them a while. Uh, now, it's like null has units here. Those are new flagellants. And uh, we already seen the free company militia. Uh, they are pretty nice. Very interesting unit. Uh, it's a mix of ranged and, uh, and melee. Huh. It seems to me uh, like we are no position to to actually mm, tag them i mean uh, we could but i don't think the siege battle would go well mm. Let's see i mean maybe the problem is that our uh most powerful uh, part uh, uh, our most powerful unit are those black knights, and they, they won't be very handy. Finding on the streets, uh, sure, we have some decent grave guard, uh, but with all those, uh, well, it's not, there's, there isn't much. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, let's try it. Uh, that should be fairly interesting, and we can't. All right, current stance. They will bend. And let's make sure they are not in. They do not have any serious uh, alliances. So. The They're going to the claw. The world will be mine. Okay, so that's actually a, a lot of units. Hmm. Now what I think we will uh, go for the smaller settlement first. Listen, Berg. Problematic because we'll suffer some attrition, but uh, as soon as we get grab this, we should be all right. And perhaps we can uh, make them fight a standard battle because. Uh, well, if I thought we could win this, uh, I would, but uh, I don't think we can chew through uh, 20 regiments of infantry, not in this in the city battle, not with what, not with what we have. Hmm. Alright, uh, now buildings again. That won't help just yet. Maybe we'll wait for ten thousand, or or we can uh, get witch house. They're waiting for this nonsense. So we could uh, invest two thousand in Belfire Brazier first. I think we will, and then we will move here in two turns. Uh, to level other things up, build other things. Um, yeah. We could get Dark Lair already. It's not that expensive, so uh, let's do this. Uh, this. This one can wait, I think. 
it's what two in adjacent provinces though and adjacent uh ones include uh this one and those two is the problems in no, but I, I think he will be good soon ish oh maybe not here and uh, the, the reason I went to war here is because this this got a bit too stale for my liking, so we'll have some uh, some troubles. Uh, mm. uh -huh. Yeah, sure. Let's uh, let's do this. And as far as new buildings go, I think we'll stick to what we have. And yeah. We have just two spots for uh, for those two. This night. And he can be. Uh, Your wish. Well, I guess I will move him there so we get uh, we get higher income off of it, right? So he doesn't have to be deployed, does he? Nope. We just need to Ready? be in the region. Let's see if we get uh, if we get more than four thousand. It'll make uh, uh, it'll set us just above six uh, k if it doesn't change. Hmm. Vampire here. Let's deploy her for the time being. Uh, well, we can't afford it. So two and five, two and a half k for this. All right. Let's finish. Okay, so they have uh, some kind of an army there. Right, uh, vampire corruption in adjacent provinces. Level this. Now, I think we just continue down. Um, yeah, we'll continue down this path uh, for more money, since uh, we we got some research rate bonuses already. It shouldn't take that long. Well. 30, it will probably go down to, to 30 or so turns, it's 10 turns per one. I'm, I'm good with that. Uh, this one should give us uh, much to begin with, but this one, uh, this one will. And well, uh, as soon as we start building those Ferdinand libraries, we should be, uh, we should be alright. And uh, two additional ranks for new heroes, uh, never a bad thing. Uh, the, uh, as far as this branch goes, uh, we we still have this one for uh, Banshees and White Kings, if we, if we so desire, as well as, uh, well, this one isn't bad either, and plus 10 leadership is actually quite powerful. No, that, that's actually only for the Lords and Heroes uh, th themselves. This one, uh, uh, Black Couch. Useless uh, corpse cards and merchant engine, pro possibly good. So, mm. well, with Vlad, we don't care that much for unit experience, but and five percent of recruitment cost and upkeep is nothing to uh, to write home about. So, we'll probably venture into the other parts of technology tree before we deal with that. Okay, uh, let's uh, fight for Wizenburg then. There is what a uh, weak-ish army. Alright, let's take our um, graveyard for a spin. Since we uh, actually have uh, skills on this guy uh, to improve their performance. All right, 23, very nice. Let's go pretty wide. Uh, and with the skeletons as a mid shield though. Uh, 
Oh, right, we're going to run those out. Oh, so let's do it properly. Mm, anything else? Um, oh, of course, him. Uh, cover in one flank, and uh, those guys on the other, I guess. And the rest is it's one. Uh, uh. All right, those skeletons. Uh, sure, let's leave them in reserve, actually. Yeah, they should grant some uh, uh, of much needed uh, fire. Well, not very needed, but fire damage on the last two are four units. And here we go. It's amazing how close can we start. Yeah, I want to see how effective this terror will be. I guess definitely should be running. Okay, let's uh, do a quick charge because we're being shot at. Shouldn't have uh, moved them there so quickly. Right, let's uh, try the terror charge in the middle. Actually, let's start with this. Oh, there's actually flagellants on day one's break anyway. Quite useful, as you can see, at least one unit this will probably break shortly. Those crossbowmen, well, those are crossbowmen, so it's, it's expected of them. Break, uh, where are you guys? Okay, this is pointless. They're out of uh, ammo anyway, so let's not waste it more. This is getting out of hand a little bit. Uh, yeah, also a bit, a bit deadly. Let's add it there. Uh, yeah, you are having some problems with those flashlights, aren't you? Well, that's not where I wanted it. Alright, uh, okay, do this bloody crossbow one, will you? This is what, uh, okay, so pistol is a broken. Deal with those guys then. You uh, write down those swords, swordsmen. Now the uh, those bloody units. I think you are. 
uh, actually supposed to deal with them. Uh, Black Knights, yes, doing a job, very good. Uh, let's regroup for the... Uh, we can pay militia there. Let's charge like this. Uh, okay, you guys are supposed to move here. Alright. Now we need some uh, spell casting real quick. Uh, they, they've done decent damage, uh, honestly. Let's, we have to see which uh, units were doing the most, but it seems like uh, those flagellants with with some very limited fire support were actually pretty damn deadly. Graveguard though, mm, holding fairly strong. I'm forgetting to use this master of karma, but it's not like there was uh, a unit we need to we needed to really worry about. Perhaps on those flagellants, uh, so they won't do so much damage. But I actually didn't expect them to. Good unit, well, honestly, every unit that is unbreakable this will be good. And they actually do quite a lot of damage, even if they are dying. Alright, so we are pretty much set. Uh, just wait for one more, I guess. A true vampiric fashion. Alright. Let's see. Uh, yeah, those uh, militia uh, and uh, crossbowmen. We should have dealt. Uh, we should have run around the round uh, trying to catch those pistoliers. To be honest, uh, that was pointless. Uh, they are much faster than our knights, especially those. And so we should have uh, quickly dispatched both militia and, and crossbowmen. Let's see here. Uh, Mm, sort of done. It didn't work. Those two crossbowmen were uh, pretty much run down, but they were infantry but still. Ash Lector was uh, mostly sitting back for whatever reason, and they've done like 30, 30 damage. So uh, at least some of the damage uh, that was done to those uh, this group of grave guard that were fighting them was uh, by fire support, as I thought. Okay. Hmm. Well, I think we. I think we'll just loot and occupy this. Strand blade. We can strength. Man servant. Campaign movement range. So we have a another man servant. Now let's continue. Red knight's path. Right, so we are. Oh, I of course haven't checked that, but uh, now, what do we want to do with this? Do we want to do anything with this? Or we just uh, keep it for the money? Alright, let's start by. Let's put on the map, I guess, but. Uh, Definitely want to get ourselves uh, of those buildings. Mm. And I think we'll st uh, I, what I want is uh, high level necromancers uh, so I can uh, check out the option of uh, them on the corpse cards. That seems pretty damn amazing. It's, 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 pretty, it's a new thing. Vampire, less so. And yeah. And sure, there are black knights, but. Well, we, we already have one, so I'm, I'm good with that for the time being, and we are going to forget the library. 
Uh, now, uh, well, we can't afford anything else. Not really. Well, we could, but uh, I mean, okay. We, I guess I want the banshee, so let's let's just uh, since we are already here, let's just buy it. That being said, I would. You know what? Let's wait. Mm. Oh, never mind. We okay. Never. Mind. Uh, we need to get to level five before we can uh, get the last one, of course. So. Uh, and we don't want to, to, to destroy any of those, so... Uh, is it Binding Circle? Is it, it is. Yes, my sire. Hmm, let's see. Can we do anything? Uh, well, we can afford it, so... We'll join the... Well, we can't. We are out of range. I think who wants to level her up. Uh, let's see, does he, she have any additional things added in the DLC? She does not, but it's alright. She's, she's a decent enemy, she's pretty decent anyway. Really want to uh, play with some of the spells. Uh, thing is, I, I mean, I know the spells, and I'm not a big fan of either path of magic. I guess that's uh, the one thing the uh, experience for Empire Superior. They they have access to quite a lot of uh, different magic paths. Uh, not as powerful. And the well, problem with, for example, Law of Magic is that uh, basically the, the spell you start with is arguably the most powerful out of, out of all of it. Alright, bloody other lunch. Hmm. Oh, we are already not taxing it. Damn it. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we will allow them to take this. Uh, need to get there into turns. Okay, can we settle? We cannot. My will is done. I agree. <laughs> Sitting here will uh, give us attrition, so let's just uh, move past here. We will deal with the, the rebellion. And then I guess settle this and advance towards normal, depending on what enemy does. Mm. And we definitely want to, to, to actually tax this since, well, it's rebelling anyway. Now. Yeah, we'll leave him here, but next turn we'll move him to uh, Stirland and build all those buildings we, we need, mostly mostly Bellfire things. Hmm. That's about it, I guess. We'll save the money. I'm not sure we want to settle this. It. it will be a pain in the ass, uh, honestly. But at least we are starting to get some corruption going. Now? It's for you. I still can't bloody uh, magic, can I? Yeah, it's. We'll just move you here and deploy, I guess. For that growth bonus. Uh, two a surplus of two, so. Next turn. This trigger king is interesting. I really need to to get one of those. Um, he, he has a spell that allows you to summon uh, either a crypt ghouls or crypt horrors, depending if you're overcasted. So that's that's great. 
quite unique. Oh, look at that, they start with graveyard now. Hmm. Well, we haven't solved anything, so let's just get the money. Battle. Alright, let's settle it. Well, it's probably a terrible idea, but... It, it, it will take us a while to replenish. Uh, well, at least public order has reset. We probably want that and go up the, all the way real fast, get the Bellfire going. Only... Fear is that they will go for World Bat and we we'll have to, to, to run them down again. Shouldn't be that big of an issue. Alright, so we'll be sitting there for a sec, and then we should be able to, to finally embed her, and that will also in, improve our replenishment. Okay, uh, let's now move you. Right here, Loy. I think we need both. Hmm. Well, might as well. We need that public order, don't we? Uh, now, what do we want out of this? Uh, not sure, really. I mean, we definitely just wanted those two, and I think we are not going to uh, actively... Okay, so this one needs uh, Relic Fury. We want to... Um, eh, well, I guess we could... Well, we'll remove that uh, Torn York Orchard at some point. Well, now perhaps we should simply get uh, get Gbet going for some for some income. Yeah, I think I think Relic Warfare Fair is isn't very useful here. We'll just get those two for the for the income and bonuses they grant, and that's about it. Right, Gbet it is. Hmm. Here, top spell. Yeah, not, not worth it just yet. Uh, definitely, especially since it wouldn't allow us to build this. I don't believe. Yep. Uh, yeah. All right. Um. Let's end the turn and end the episode. Now when I want to know how it works. So not going to war against dwarves is definitely a way to go. Well, <laughs> look at that. Okay, so we'll deal with the dwarves. We didn't go to 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 to, to war uh, shortly. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.